All right, all right. So we, uh, we figured uh, we'd start the battling off uh, with a lot of energy. So we're really excited for these two. Um, like I said, we're going to have one member from Barcelona, one from the Barcelona scene, and another from the London scene. This is a, this is a geographical battle here, Spain versus England. Probably a lot of colonialism jokes. Just get ready for it. Okay. <laughs> awesome. But without further ado, our first roasting, let's start with a little chant. Battle! 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 Please give it up for Stuart battle. Kennedy and Helen Kay! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! <laughs> In disregard, nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. <laughs> All right, so Stuart, you are our Barcelona representative. How are you feeling about tonight, man? Uh, a little bit guilty after I just smashed a girl's glass. <laughs> you smashed a glass? Oh shit, yeah, that's all over there. Uh, I mean, I didn't smash it, it was... You didn't smash it. It's you never do. It was you. <laughs> you dick. <laughs> Save the good stuff for later, Stuart. <laughs> so Stuart, I mean, you, you've been roasting with us since the beginning. I mean, have you been preparing for this show particularly different than any others? Uh, I've never prepared for any show, so yes. I don't know what I was expecting with that question. <laughs> Amazing. We'll give it up for Stuart Kennedy, guys. Yay! Start! 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 All right, and uh, Helen, our, our, our London rep, how are you doing tonight? Um, I also feel a bit guilty because I feel like I'm about to punch down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of impossible not to. Isn't it? Yeah. So, Helena, how, how long have you been roasting for now? Uh, since end of November. Since end of November, okay. And, I mean, what... But I have a lot of experience being a cunt. <laughs> would, you like to, would you like to share your, your cunt resume a bit with the audience? How, how, how do you, would you describe your cuntiness? I would say that I'm hard to like, but also <laughs> you could try a bit harder. <laughs> Can't disagree with that. Give it up for Helen, guys. All right, Stuart, since you're on food stamps, I'm going to let you call the coin toss, heads or tails. Can I have it? Can you have the coin? <laughs> we got three more battles after this, and I brought one coin. I spent all my money on this suit. All right, tails never fails. Tails never fails. It's heads. All right, so Helen, you want to start or defer? Defer. Okay, defer. So for Stuart, we'll be starting. So before we get started, let's start with the chant. Battle! 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 Let's roast! Guys, uh, this is uh, Helen. She's from Russia. She actually grew up in Siberia. Siberia has been described as a cold, desolate hellhole. Wait, no, that's her vagina, actually. Sorry, it's, uh, uh, it's different. Uh, she's actually been told that she looks like a James Bond villain. Uh, and if she was a James Bond villain, her name would definitely be uh, Odd Handjob. Hey, don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> All right, um, so this is Stuart. Stuart is not homeless. <laughs> <laughs> um, he actually lives with his girlfriend. His um, girlfriend is from uh, Bristol, and she was also the one who gave him a start in comedy. And Stuart is a true Scotsman. Pretending to be free while being entirely dependent on the English. <laughs> oh. uh, guys, look, it would be it would be wrong for me to make a joke about a Helen being a Russian prostitute because it's not true. Uh, she actually got her UK citizenship two years ago, so she's a British prostitute uh, instead. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Helen of Troy had the face that launched a thousand ships, uh, and Helen of Russia has the face that's been slapped by a thousand dicks. <laughs> ah, yes, I am a prostitute, but at least I get paid for my gigs. <laughs> um, Stuart looks like a wizard, but... His wand only does magic when it's touched by a child. Thank you on Her Majesty's secret sex work. 
Um, uh, Helen's, all of Helen's relationships for her whole life, they've only ever lasted for three months, which is quite sad. Uh, but in a way, it's a plus side because it means that all of Helen's relationships have lasted longer than her dad's battle with cancer. <laughs> Uh, that, that is true because um, I'm like your girlfriend. I don't need five years to figure out I made a big mistake. Um, Stuart does an insane amount of drugs. Like, he's the, been mo moving the goalpost for what an overdose is. Um, he's been building up his tolerance for years, but he still buys only from white drug dealers. He really put the white power in white powder. Thank you, Dr. Oh, we don't no. like racism here? Oh, sure. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. Uh, you. Uh, thank you, Dr. No Passport. Um, <laughs> Uh, Helen actually uh, developed an eating disorder because her mother uh, psychologically abused her and fat shamed her uh, as a child. Um, now... <laughs> now, I watched uh, Helen's clips of Helen's stand-up uh, and the only eating disorder she has is the massive amounts of shit she eats every night when she performs. <laughs> Yeah, I tried to find clips of your stand-up. <laughs> um, um, so, Stuart moved to Spain. You alright? Uh, still laughing at my eating disorder, it's okay. Um, Stuart moved to Spain way before Brexit, so um, he escaped the recession but his hairline didn't. It's just sad. Last joke. Uh, all right, uh, guys, uh, I don't even know what to call her, right? Because on stage, she's called Helen. On her passport, she's called Elena. And in her mother's house, she's called, stop eating so much food, you fat fuck. My mother doesn't speak to me. <laughs> Um, Stuart has no formal education and it's unlikely that his children would do any better because the only thing lower than Stuart's IQ is his sperm count. All right, give it up, guys. First one, done, well done, well done. <laughs>